You've got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Wait a minute, what are you doing, Doc? I need fuel. Go ahead, quick. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could fuel our cars with garbage? Plastic is a particularly multifaceted material that's bursting with energy. And yet, we mostly throw it away or burn it. A better solution would certainly be to use it to produce fuel or usable plastic. And that's precisely what OMV is working on. Also wenn ich irgendwo äh, auf der Wiese einen Altkunststoff sehe oder ich bin in einem Zaun, ein Plastikstück sehe, denke ich mir oft schon, ist ich wirklich schade drum. Da wäre es hoch viel, viel besser, wenn man aus diesen Altkunststoffen wieder ein synthetisches Öl umwandelt und das einer Raffinerie wieder zuführt. Und? Was hat er denn mitgegessen? Ja. Ah, und ich sehe, mit dem Joghurt bist du auch schon fertig. Dann nehme ich den Becher gleich mit. Aha, warum das? Du, dann werfen wir in die Grillanlage. Ganz einfach. Und den Kunststoff da, da kannst du mir auch gleich mitgeben. Okay, ja, dann. Danke dir. Bitte so. gerne. Plastic is a poor heat conductor, and this poses a challenge for recycling. After all, high temperatures are required over a longer time period in order to break down plastics, making it a very cost-intensive and energy-intensive method. Since 2011, OMV has been researching a new, more energy-efficient way of producing crude oil from plastics. Experts from the Schwechat refinery had the groundbreaking idea of introducing a material into the process to improve the heat conductivity of the plastic. This means less energy and better results. That sounds simple, but building the first pilot plant was immeasurably more complicated. Selbst die Equipmentteile zu finden, das war schon eine Herausforderung. Es ist eine Lernkurve, mit einer solchen Prototypen umzugehen. Und am Anfang besteht das die Hauptaufgabe darin, die Anlage wieder zu reinigen, aber sukzessive mit jedem Misserfolg oder mit jedem ähm, Aha-Erlebnis kommt man einen Schritt weiter und man lernt mehr daraus, als wenn die Anlage gleich smooth dahinlaufen würde. The prototype was produced to OMV's plans using an innovative modular system. The individual parts were then brought by special transport to the Schwechat refinery, where an experienced team transformed them into a functioning facility in just five days. Three weeks later, and the time had come, the unit was able to start operations. Es ist jedes Mal ein, ein erhebendes Gefühl, wenn man jetzt hier auf die große Anlage äh, gehen darf. Und es geht an wirklich vieles durch den Kopf, was so die letzten sieben Jahre alles passiert ist. Wenn man sich das Ganze so durch überlegt, dann macht es dann schon ziemlich ehrfürchtig. OMV's innovative Reoil technology is set to help ensure that plastic production is no longer a cul-de-sac that ends in waste incineration. This will facilitate an intelligent and sustainable circular economy for plastics. Used plastics are inserted in the unit and fed into a smelting facility. A solvent is then added. This liquid makes the viscous mass turn as thin as water, which in turn enhances heat conductivity. This makes the plastic easier to break down into its constituent parts. Once the process is complete, the liquid that was added previously is re-extracted and ready to be used again. At the end of the process, you have two main products. One part is usable gas, one part is known as syncrude, i.e. crude oil. With this, the products can then be processed in the refinery to make gasoline, diesel and polymer, itself a base product for plastic. This means that if you fill up at an OMV today or use plastic packaging, it has probably already had something to do with re-oil. Also die nächsten Schritte auf der Riolanlage in der Raffinerie ist jetzt wirklich möglichst die Laufzeiten zu verlängern und den Energieaufwand zu reduzieren und die Produktqualität zu steigern.
In around seven years, OMV intends to start up a full-scale, commercially viable re-oil facility. This will mean that up to a third of Austria's plastic waste can then be turned into crude. Projects like this underline the importance of Schwechat as one of Europe's largest and most cutting-edge refineries.